That used to be me during high school. Without any beard, I used to look. Ah, my camera is not focusing. Yep, that is me. <laughs> I look so different. What's up, beautiful people? Okay, so. I need to take care of my looks first. Okay, so we got a long day today. This is pretty much what goes on day to day life. I mean, not everything, but you get the point. So what I need to do is I'm first of all gonna clean up and I'm thinking of getting a new hairstyle. It's been such a long time since I changed my hairstyle, so I think I need a new look. So I'm gonna shave and then look for some hairstyles and then let's get on with the day. Let's go. But yeah, one more thing that I need to get is I need to get something to clean up this is like an old board that i have and i need to clean up so i can use this for studying so that has to be done as well Alrighty, so there we have got the shape done looking much better looking fresh now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get that haircut because you know why because looking good ain't a crime let's go going to get the haircut and uh, at this time while I'm going I was actually wanting to talk to you guys about a couple of things yeah, I'm gonna be very quick and short over here I think one thing that I want to talk to you about while I drive to my get my haircut is time management it's very important as a medical student as a person who is in the field of medicine time is one of the biggest thing that you it's one of the biggest assets. People in the medical field don't really have a lot of time to laze around, to do things. But what you need to learn to do, if you're in medical school right now, learn to play with time. Learn even five minutes here and there is very important. Now, for example, take this thing that I'm doing. I mean, I'm going for my haircut, but at the same time, I'm making a vlog for the YouTube channel. So if you can see, like, you know, even this five minutes that I'm squeezing in to make some content, is gonna help me by the end of the day once I finish my vlog. So let's say if you're in medical school right now and uh, you want to become a better medical student or you want to become there's a subject that you don't understand well and you don't have enough time to sit and study for that what you could do is you know next time you're waiting for your friend in the canteen for a while like when he's getting late take some flashcards out and learn. Pro I promise you even that five minutes that you're giving to your studies is gonna go a long way. Learn to manage your time properly okay so let me just go get the haircut in a jiffy so got the hairstyle I think it's pretty decent hmm something new yeah something new okay so got some stuff to clean the whiteboard let's get to it So this is a permanent marker, so as you can see, it doesn't go away. So I kind of saw this in uh, a YouTube video. This is hand sanitizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some hand sanitizer, a roll, and let's, keep, let's go. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, so what I got to do now, since everything has been done, I need to get back to studies. I have already done like around two hours of studies in the morning and uh, I'm planning to go to play squash at like around 7 o'clock and so it's almost like 3.30 right now. So I want to try and get at least a good three hours of studying in. I try to aim for like at least six hours of studies every single day uh, because uh, there are subjects that I'm really weak at such as general surgery so I try to give a little bit extra time for that so yeah without further ado let's go hit the books all right so 
<laughs> that was around three hours of studying done. Um, studying was good, I think. I think I was got some good work done today. So I'm almost done around five hours. I did two hours in the morning, three hours now. So hitting my goal little by little. What I got to do next is I'm gonna go play some squash with my friends. So yeah, I need to get dressed up first. So let's do that. All right, let's go. Bro, ready to get your ass kicked? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah? yeah? Okay, so we're gonna play squash. They call it rocket ball, if I'm not mistaken. So the ball, yeah, that's how you play. How you win the game? What was the game? <laughs> so yeah. So that's what's up. Squash done. I'll see you guys once I get home. And I'm back at home. Okay, so wait, let me set this camera down first. Right, that's better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, it's already late. Um I have already finished studying, so I'm gonna go watch a little bit of TV relax, sleep, so that tomorrow I can get up and uh, do the entire thing again. But um, this is the first time I've done a vlog like this. I don't really do day in the life videos. So if you guys really enjoy videos like that, like these and like you want more, comment in the comment section below, let me know and I'll be happy to try and make more of them. So the second announcement is the giveaway is still on. For you to win a free Plubbable account, you have to make sure you do these three things. Number one, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two, you like this video. Number three, you comment whatever, like, you know, hey, I love this video. And then hashtag Dr. ZZ giveaway. And on the next video that is gonna come next week, I'm gonna be announcing the two winners for the Plowable accounts. So go ahead, start typing, start subscribing again. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your boy Dr. ZZ signing off. Take it easy, peace. Yeah, one thing that I messed up is that uh, when you comment in the comment section below, make sure you write the comment like, hey, what's up, good, good video, hashtag Dr. ZZ giveaway. And then you need to write down either your email address or your Facebook, some way that I can contact you if, so that I know that you have won. Because I'm only going to be picking the people who have left some uh, email address so that I can contact them back. So make sure you do that. Leave an email address. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.